virus presents a, uh, you know, it's a serious personal and, and public health concern. And therefore, we need to ensure that we're introducing and, and supporting um, all the sorts of initiatives that will assist people to A, prevent transmission, B, if you happen to, to have been exposed to it, that you feel comfortable in getting um, a diagnosis. I am currently would describe myself as being semi-retired. I guess the driving reason rationale for me retiring so early is that, you know, I'd had a, uh, a life-changing experience uh, in my early 40s, and that is that I uh, needed a liver transplant because of uh, my experience with hepatitis C. I was actually diagnosed quite by chance in many ways, but it got to a point that I just couldn't get up and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't sort of, um, you know, just do my, my normal sort of daily routine. I remember that uh, we lived in a, uh, a third floor flat in St Kilda. I was concerned about going downstairs uh, because there was no lift, so it was just stairs. And I, I used to sort of even to check the mail or whatever um, because I... I would then sort of really struggle to get back up the stairs. Uh, and so things got pretty um, pretty ugly for me uh, because I was sort of, you know, pretty much housebound. The main issue for the community is uh, uh, not to stigmatise things that perhaps uh, are poorly understood. You know, the virus doesn't, doesn't uh, discriminate and neither should we discriminate on people who for whatever reason might uh, be affected by the virus.